and then you actually feel that nurturing feeling that motherly feeling of like being nurtured being held being safe and supported and that is why she is called mother earth because we need that energy guys humans need that hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel hello if you are new my name is andrea johnson i'm a reiki master and psychic development teacher and a transformation coach i help people improve their lives through energy work and expanding their consciousness so with that being said welcome to the good vibe tribe welcome to another episode of what i like to call conscious just coffee talks where we discuss a topic to expand our consciousness and make us better humans. So with that being said, let's dive into today's topic. We are going to be discussing grounding. Oh my goodness, this is important, guys. I've actually, this topic stemmed from several Reiki sessions that I had and clients um, that I've been doing coaching with. They are struggling with anxiety. And one of the reasons that we get anxiety, guys, is because of our lack of grounding. So in this video, I am gonna go over what it means to ground, why we should ground, and some tips to help you start grounding your energy. So let's first discuss what does it mean to actually ground. Grounding means that your energy is just in your body. You are completing the circuit between heaven and earth. Your energy is anchored and feeling safe inside of your physical body. So when we are ungrounded, which most of us can probably relate to this feeling, so I'm gonna describe it. When we are ungrounded, we are projecting our energy, which is our conscious awareness, either into the future or we are projecting it into the past. So when we project our energy into the future, we are spiking our anxiety. It is because we are trying to predict possible outcomes outcomes of things that may happen because the brain does this in order to keep us safe. It is a good thing, guys. Um, it's a survival mechanism, but in today's day and age, it we don't need it as much as what we did back when there were predators, right? When we were um, living in tribes in the nature. So what is happening is when you're projecting your energy into the future and thinking of all the possible outcomes of what could happen, it is spiking anxiety and you're getting overwhelmed and it is causing you to be in the flight or fight. Your heart rate increases, your physical body actually starts having reactions, you're sweating, you're feeling nauseous, you get an influx of just thoughts that just do not stop. You're stuck in your head. You can't make physical traction here in the world because we are crippled with fear, right? When we are ungrounded, we are fearful or we are projecting our energy into the past, which means that we are reliving out trauma. So that means that we are not consciously creating our life and we are just kind of like going through the motions and allowing the subconscious to dictate what we do in our life, which makes us feel stuck. We can't make movements forward because we're almost trapped by the fear with the energy that we've held on to, which dictates dictates our everyday choices, right? So when we're reliving our past, that means we are not thinking greater than what we are feeling. And so it will keep us trapped in this box of even the comfort zone, you want to call it. Um, it's not a bad thing, but it makes us feel like we are stuck and we are not living the life that we are supposed to be living. Or you feel like maybe you lack some purpose or something of that nature. You never overcome the limiting beliefs that the trauma has basically created inside your body. Um, so it makes you feel stuck. Now, being ungrounded, we can also think of this as living in our heads. So if you are a dreamer like myself, uh, I get a lot of visual downloads from spirit. I get, I daydream a lot. I like to create my life in my head a lot, but if we don't do anything with that information, with those dreams, with those visions, we cannot create that life here in the physical. You have got to be grounded in order to actually make physical movements to create, to manifest, right? You need to be grounded and present because being grounded means being in the present moment because that is truly the only thing to exist to where you can create and think 
clearly and understand that you are safe enough to make the movements, right? So we want to be grounded because like I said, we are completing that circuit between heaven and earth. Your physical body is the bridge to actually complete that circuit of energy. We need to have energy flowing freely in our bodies, right? This is super important, guys. When we do not complete that circuit, when we aren't grounded, that means our root chakra is shut off. That is, I don't wanna say shut off, that blocked per se. Um, it means that we are not connected to mother earth because she is our home. The root chakra is, or it's the root chakra and then there's an earth star chakra, but essentially the root chakra is what you need to work in to connect you to mother earth. So it is the chakra of survival. It is actually the first out of the three human chakras because it is our base. It is our foundation. Mother earth is our foundation. We are cells of her, right? So we have to be connected to her in order to actually build a foundation because if your root chakra is blocked or closed off, whatever you want to call it, if you're not grounded, it is going to be so difficult for you to actually build the life that you want to live because you feel like you have a faulty foundation. You cannot build anything sustainable on fear, guys, because it will crumble. And then we're not actually able to make movements in life we're not actually able to create so you can think of it like this if you lose your job if um, something a trauma happened with the family something of that nature you lose your home so you get what i'm saying your survival is threatened nothing else will matter in your life your survival skills mechanisms um will kick in because that is just our human nature. We are built for survival. They're going to kick in and nothing else is going to matter until you figure out how to find balance again, how to find another job, where are you going to live, make money, buy the food. You know what I mean? When our foundation is threatened, we cannot make money movements anywhere else in our life so when we are connected to mother earth we actually have a contract with her what will end up happening is she takes those lower level frequencies of fear and she pulls them from our body so when she does this we are actually able to feel safe again because she took that fear from us right she took it and transmuted it back to love and sends it back to its original source. So these energies that are stuck in your body when you're not connected to earth because they stay stuck inside of you uh, because the body is just the machine to harness energy, right? So when you can rid yourself of those lower level frequencies that are causing this fear, that are causing you not to feel safe be and causing you to block basically your root chakra, when you ground yourself and connect, she will take those lower level frequencies and provide you with love. She transmutes them back to love. And then you actually feel that nurturing feeling, that motherly feeling of like being nurtured, being held, being safe and supported. And that is why she is called Mother Earth because we need that energy, guys. Humans need that in order to actually create here we need that to be healthy happy humans that is just part of survival so she will actually allow you to tap into your parasympathetic nervous system which is the calm part of your the healing part of your nervous system the nervous system that actually allows for the body's intelligence to take over and heal itself rather than being in the fight or flight now don't get me wrong the fight or flight is still beneficial for us because we need that for survival in certain situations but when we are not grounded guys we that that fight or flight is on constantly and that will tear our immune system down it will be hard to actually function in the world so this is why fear is so manipulated here in our society is because it is an aspect of control if you have a fearful human you have a human who can be controlled so grounding will help you actually see through the illusion of fear that there really truly is nothing to fear and you are always safe and supported 
there is you're always safe guys so being in the present and connecting to mother earth and then feeling that nurturing feeling that she provides us will remind you of that and then you are better able to actually create what you desire in life you're actually able to think clearly actually receive messages from source um, creative inspiration you're a happy healthy human stress has left your body you actually physically start to feel better i know for myself guys when i ground my hips feel amazing because hips are the emotional storage house of our body so we store basically all of our shit that we hold on to in our hips and when we ground she will take that energy from us this is why i love grounding i love yoga um i will do all the hip exercises so completing the circuit guys you are essentially a walking god here in this realm of existence you can create freely you move freely because you see through the illusion you feel safe and supported you know your divine nature and you are in the present moment which means you can create consciously nothing is limiting you and from my own experience of being an energy worker and if you are an energy worker light worker teacher whatever um it is super important to ground i know a lot of us really like to work in our third eye and our crown chakra and it's just because it is the psychic realm it is the sixth sense um it's kind of like fascinating the paranormal type of stuff that really is normal just you know whatever but um i used to be kind of like that guys i still do like it but um, I used to be fascinated by it. I never really wanted to work in my root. Now, when I actually did understand the importance of grounding, the whole game changed for me. I actually realized I had more power when I was a grounded individual in my energy work sessions because I was present, because I could actually connect more with my client and actually receive more information because I was calm, because I could be connected to my body when um, I could feel what the client was feeling. I could feel physical sensations. I could actually get clear messages. Guys, the crown, the upper chakras, they work just fine. They are the spiritual chakras. Your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown all work just fine. You don't really need to work in them. You need to manage the lower human chakras and get them into alignment. So what it actually feels like when you are grounded, guys, it feels kind of like um, you feel anchored into your body. It almost feels like a little tug on your root chakra. Um, you feel like you are safe and situated in your body the physical world actually looks sharper so your vision becomes more clear um you actually probably reality looks a little bit different um i know for me it does i actually see things sharper and this is just because you are in the present moment and actually seeing things for what they are rather than you're stuck inside your head now that you guys have an understanding of why it is important to ground what grounding is what it kind of feels like let's go over some tips to actually get you grounded so tip number one food food can actually ground you and if you guys know our ayurveda then you kind of understand this concept but the type of food you eat will affect your energy so when you eat high vibe food food like fruits and vegetables um that's going to help raise your frequency but when you're wanting to ground you're wanting more of the warm heartier foods the comfort foods the foods that i say that you eat that kind of like feel like giving you a big hug now that's not to say like mashed potatoes and mac and cheese even though those are comfort foods but i'm talking more about the healthy like soups and um some like healthy oils or like avocados things of that nature so um, grounding foods are warming foods and they're more of like heavier foods so like fats and red meats um now if you're vegan you can probably stick more towards the fats and like the nuts and seeds and some proteins so that those will be some things to help ground your energy you know think of things that are heavy you're going to want to do things that are heavy um, to anchor you down. The next one would getting out in nature. So when you go out in nature, it's kind of the same lesson that um, I talk about in energy work. It's called resonance. And you become like 
the energy that you surround yourself with so when you are out in nature you're actually absorbing that frequency so you're matching what mother nature is and it's healing you it's providing you with that sense of calm that safety um that's why when people go out in nature and they disconnect they feel so good they feel refreshed and they feel rejuvenated is because they've absorbed the energy that the plants and the the soil the water the minerals the sunlight out there all have um so getting out in nature and actually walking in nature in your bare feet so you can just probably stick your bare feet in the ground um but that will actually help complete the circuit because you are i think like a positive ion and she or mother earth i think is negative i can't remember exactly which way it is but literally it is she will pull you down and you will feel it. You'll probably feel if you're really, really connected to your body, you will actually feel an electric current um, f- coming down from your legs and, and out, to the, out of the bottoms of your feet. So another thing that you can do to ground is breath work. Breath work will connect your mind to your physical body and you can do breathing exercises like for the root specifically if you want to focus your conscious awareness in the root chakra so breathing in like maybe a count of like the four six breath so you breathe in for four counts and breathe out for six and when you breathe in you can imagine like just light going into your root chakra just cleansing it um vibrating at a you know bright red glassy perfect color root chakra is red um so you can imagine things like that with visual visualization to help you bring in a frequency and then connect yourself with breath it's a very powerful combination and then of course you can do meditations just grounding meditations you can find them online Um, you can use sound to help you with that too so a lot of times you'll find that meditations will pair with a certain frequency that will help you ground so in my reiki sessions i actually like to use the shamanic drum because the drum helps you ground your energies it actually clears out the lower chakras and helps you feel connected with mother earth because it reminds you of the heartbeat when you were a child in the womb i say child a baby in the womb um it will remind you of your mother's heartbeat and therefore um subconsciously when we hear that drum it provides that same sense of safety and security that we felt when we were in the womb um so kind of like the drum is mother earth's heartbeat is the way that i look at it and then you can just set the intention to ground guys if you just set the intention to ground it will happen because energy flows where intention goes so if you want to ground just say i want to ground and you know for me i just kind of repeat it over and over in my head like i'm grounded i am grounded i am grounded and then i will eventually get grounded it's kind of funny how that happens and then you can use affirmations so like you know what i said before like i am grounded i am grounded i am safe i am supported start actually saying these things speaking them into existence and you're going to start actually feeling it right like i am present you know things of that nature so guys i hope you enjoyed this video um i hope it made sense to you guys and why grounding is so important it has totally changed my life and my practice uh, with energy work and the way i conduct work with clients um and even filming my youtube videos i have got to be grounded when i speak so then i can clearly channel information um if you are a grounded human you have taken your power back so Try some of these practices out. See how you feel. If you can enter into the present moment and experience it, guys, it is life-changing. It is seriously life-changing when you actually get present. I remember the first time that I did it, I I was like, I felt like I was not even living before that. Like everything was a dream before I had gotten grounded. So it's kind of neat. But um, my spiritual teacher is actually hosting a grounding class so if you are in the springfield area um swing by mystics i think it's september 17th i'll leave some information in the description box below but she is hosting a grounding class so you will be able to actually experience what it feels like to be grounded and then get some more information on what grounding actually is so she'll go more into detail about what it is and how it works with the body um but 
you need to actually experience it guys um do the work you can research and read all the text all the books and stuff but you really have got to experience being grounded to make the connection in your brain to rewire your mind and create new neuroplasticity pathways so then it's going to help you actually get to a grounded state whenever you are like in your everyday life rather than just meditating so you don't have to be in a meditative state to be grounded you practice it over and over and then you can do it in your daily life and then it helps you just live a better life guys a less fearful life i use grounding practices every single freaking day in my nine to five job and my energy work sessions and just social settings i used to have horrible social anxiety until I finally like can manage it with grounding. It doesn't mean that these things don't come up for me and I don't feel the discomfort. I just know how to handle it now because of these practices. So it is life-changing guys if you understand yourself, how you work, your thoughts, and how to manage your energy. These are tools to improve your life. So I am sending you all of my light and all of my love. We'll see you guys.